Hello and welcome to another Godot Game Engine tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a shader to create animated tiles in a tile map. If you're new to Godot, be aware this isn't a beginner video. I recommend you start with my Godot 101 tutorials first. Alright, let's get started. So our goal for this tutorial is to create an animated tile in our tile map, kind of like this example right here. Now in a earlier video I showed how to do this using the animation player and you can click the link below if you want to see how that works. But for this tutorial we're instead going to use a shader to accomplish the same effect. Now if you've never worked with shaders before they can be a little bit intimidating. This video is not a shader tutorial but I will include some links below to some places you can go to learn about the basics of shaders and how they work so that you can get started and understand some of the background for this tutorial. So we're going to start with our tile set. I've just taken all of my art right here, which you can get in the link below, and I've just dragged all these PNGs into the scene so that I have all of my sprites. And so that would be all you needed to do if you wanted to have a basic tile map. But now we want to do some animation. So I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to drag it out here. It doesn't matter which texture we use because we're going to replace this with animation, but uh, I just need one to, to placehold for it. And I'm going to call this Water Shader. So this tile will be named Water Shader. And this is the one that we're going to have in our tile set that will be automatically animated. To add a shader to this, we need to scroll down to the Material property. And we're going to say New Canvas Item Material. Press the forward arrow to go into Canvas Item Material and make a new Canvas Item Shader. Shading mode can remain normal. And then when we click here, we will open up our Shader Text Editor where we can start typing our shader code. We're going to start by defining our textures that we want to use. Now each of these animations, there are three water tile animations, has five frames. So we're going to want to be able to specify those five textures in our shader code. And we're going to start by defining our textures. Textures have to be uniforms, and I'll explain what that is in a second. We'll call this frame one. And then we're going to do this. Um, we're going to do this five times because we have five frames to do. So we'll just call them frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, and frame five. And by calling these variables uniform, what this does is over here in our sprite, if we go to our canvas item material, we can now see frame one through five exposed in the inspector and we can drop our tiles in there which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the five frames into the five slots for those textures. Okay, now back to the code. If all we wanted was one of those textures, well let's, let's zoom in on this so we can see it as we add the code. If we just said color equals we're going to get frame 1 every pixel of the image is being changed to every pixel of frame 1 right you change that to frame 2 you're going to see frame 2 and so that's what we want to do but we want to cycle this over time so we can use the built-in time for that so we're going to make a float called time and set it equal to the time now the time that's returned every time the shader runs is going to be in seconds. So it might be 3.815 or it might be 0.482, right? It's going to have some sort of uh, fractional and whole number part. For the purposes of cycling around, I only care about the fractional parts. We're going to say fract time. And that's going to take the fractional portion of the time, the time after the decimal, the part after the decimal point. And based on what time we're on, we're going to set what pixel, what the pixel we want. So we're going to call this color 
and then we're going to set the color equal to, at the end, whatever color comes out to be. Okay, right now it's null. So we have our time, and so now we can say something like if time, let's just say we were doing two frames for the moment. If time is less than 0 0.5, then I want to set color equal to frame 1. All right there you can see we're doing that, right? So only so half of a second it's showing frame 1, the other half it's not. Now we have 5 frames. So dividing up the second into 5 frames, we're going to means we're going to do this in increments of 0 0.2. So we want each one to show for that fraction of the second. So we need to have an else and we're also going and then we're going to basically chain these together and say if it's less than 0.4 we're going to do frame 2 and so on. So I went ahead and skipped through the typing of that. So if our time is less than 0 0.2 we're using frame 1, 0.4, frame 2, 0.6, frame 3, and 0.8 is frame 4. Otherwise we use frame 5. And now you can see we're getting a smooth transi transition from frame 0, or sorry, from frame 1 to frame 5 and then outputting it at the end. And the one other thing that we could add here would be to be able to control the speed. So we're going to make a uniform float speed. And we're going to make it a uniform so that we can change it in the inspector if we ever want to change it. And we're just going to make that, we're going to use that here to multiply by the time. And that way we can go into our shader here and if I put 0.5 it's going to slow down and if I put 2 it's going to speed up and so it'll be easy for you to control what speed you want your tile to animate at. And now all you have to do is save it as a tile set, go over to your tile map, choose the water shader and anywhere you put it you're going to see that animated tile. I've also duplicated it and made the other two animations if you want to see the difference. And so you can arrange those how you like. And remember when you're doing the when you're doing the shader, when you get to the material, you can save by hitting the little save button here. Save this material so that you can load it onto other tiles and you don't have to recreate any of the code and, and everything like that. You can reuse the canvas item material. You can also save the actual shader code and load that whenever you want on any other object. Just make sure you remember to make unique if you're going to make it different for different tiles or else changes you make on one tile will take effect on other tiles as well. All right, please post your questions below. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. In the description below, I've put a link to the project so you can download this and look at the code yourself as well. Good luck in your shader experimentation, and I'll see you in the next video.